Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of uh, Little Modular. Before we start, please excuse me all external noises. I'm recording that with the windows open as it's really hot and humid here in Warsaw and I'm about to faint. So no way that I'll be able to record that in the closed room. So sorry for that. Uh, as for today's module, we are taking a look at the Selector module by Aliseum, the same company that has brought us the great Matrix 2 module, which I was reviewing uh, some time ago. Selector is a switcher, but a switcher on steroids. You can think of that as a really super flexible mm, switcher. And I am a big fan of switchers because they can animate and make your patch super dynamic. And these are really simple in use. The concept is super simple. Uh, I won't be explaining it in detail and I won't be showing you all the patches and examples because I have already done that in my previous switcher reviews, uh, like the Mystic Circuits Tree, which is also an awesome switcher, and the Eureka Since Pico Series switcher. So we won't go in there, uh, but I'll show you why I think Selector is the most flexible switcher on the market, at least the most flexible switcher I have came across. The idea is simple like with the rest of switchers. Uh, you have the common ins right here, and then you have eight ins or outs, because depending on how you patch it, this could serve as a one in to eight different outs, or you could do this other way, so eight ins go into one out. So it's really simple. You're just switching between two different sets of ins or outs. Just like with any other switches, you can just select any of the eight outs or ins with manual switch, like so. You can see above here you have eight LEDs, which uh, uh, are symbolizing the eight outs. But what is really cool about this switcher is that you have one additional step, which I call neutral. So you can see when I toggle with the switches back and forth, when I go to the eighth out, I can then go to the one more and none of the LEDs is lit up, meaning that I'm at the uh, no connection status. So this is, this is very flexible and you know useful because sometimes you just want no connection. But you also have option of selecting those different outs with all kinds of controls. I mean, anything you can think of. You can switch between them uh, with the CV. You can switch between them with the clock or with the clock and additional reset signal. You can also switch that with all kinds of MIDI signals like MIDI clock, MIDI CC, MIDI note, anything goes, you know, so it's super, super flexible. Yeah, but let's start with the front panel and let's start from the top, okay? Eight LEDs for selecting different outs, but also you can select different modes. We have seven modes and you switch between those modes by holding this mode button for two seconds. It lets red and then you can choose one of the uh, seven modes. You can see that it goes to seven, wraps around to one. So the first mode is a standalone. And if you want to use that mode, which is just manual switching with those step buttons here, you press it again for two seconds and it will just go back to the step selection. And as you can see, I'm selecting different outs. By the way, I have a really simple patch here, which consists of just an oscillator going through a filter, uh, all driven by Eloquencer, and then I'm outputting this signal, as you can see, to four uh, different effect units. I have two delays and two distortion boxes. So this is in from the oscillator. You can, you can just connect it to the first or the second COM input. And then I have four of the jacks right here, output it to different effects. So I'm using just the first four of the outs for the sake of clarity. Second mode is meant to be used with the Matrix 2, because I haven't mentioned that, but you can use that with the Matrix 2 and the uh, great VCA by Aliseum, and you can just expand that to 
immensely powerful system you can chain two three even eight of those and create this bonkers matrix of switching system i won't go into detail because it's just too much time and explaining for this video but it's all in the manual mm, so we will skip this mode the third mode is one that might interest you and this is the cv mode with the cv mode you just connect external cv signal in here you guessed cv in and uh, if i press my eloquencer right now you can see that i have different cv amounts on different steps and i'm switching between different outs you can also adjust the uh, amount of cv with the uh, offset here and just fine-tune it okay really useful then we have modes four and five and we will skip them because these are all midi you just connect the uh, midi adapter cable to here and you can switch it with different midi signals just as you did with the matrix 2 so if you want to see how this works it pretty much works the same as with matrix 2 so if you have your daw or a synthesizer or some controller hooked up to here you can definitely use the keys or the cc messages to switch between those outs but i want to show you the other really useful mode and this mode is meant for triggering switching we go directly to the six okay so one two three four five six press it for two seconds again to confirm it and now when i inject a clock signal in here in the clock in it will just move forwards and backwards now the cool thing about this is that i can actually make this cycle different ways it's called the arpeggiator modes uh, and you just press and hold the uh, step left button to change it and you have five different modes so it can go forwards backwards and pendulum then you have the random for instance so if i want to choose let's say the random i just press the step again for two seconds and as you can see it will just go randomly to different steps okay if i want it to go backwards i press the step left button again for two seconds and i choose mode number two so it's going to go backwards and i press again the left arrow for two seconds and as you can see it will now cycle backwards let's go to the default forward mode so again step left for two seconds go to the first mode step left for two seconds and we're cycling uh, through the uh, outs again but now as you can see i'm cycling only through the first four steps why well that's the other thing that is super super convenient and it's exclusive to this module okay and that's where this module shines what is happening here is that you can set so-called window so you can actually establish which steps are going to be included in the cycling so we can make it so it cycles through all eight or just from three to five or from four to eight for instance how would you do that well simple as that press step right arrow for two seconds and now we can see that you can choose the start point with left and right okay let's choose the three to be the start point and now if you press the mode now you can choose the end point with the step arrows okay so if i want to go back to the first four again i need to press the right arrow for two seconds choose the starting point press mode choose the ending point which is four and confirm it with the mode for two seconds okay and now you can see that my clock is cycling through the first four now I can of course go into the uh, arpeggiator mode and just choose a different mode again like for instance I don't know let's say random okay and uh, yeah confirm it and I'm cycling through only those four steps but in a random fashion now there's one more mode mode number seven and uh, this mode is the same exactly 
as the one before so we're choosing the outputs with the clock but you also have the uh, reset right here so you just plug a reset signal from your sequencer or from any other you know trigger source and you can just reset the whole sequence to the first step with it and that basically is all there is to this module for a switcher it's not that small but considering the functions and the flexibility you get with it it's definitely worth it so if you are looking for flexible uh, and super useful switcher i would bet my money on on this one all right thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed that video if you liked it if you found it informative please like please subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye